Todd from Matrix Hill Customs. I'm here today to show you how to take titchy lamp posts that come with just about every kit and I'm going to make them instead of painting them black or whatever like everybody else does or I have done many times I'm going to make them copper the patina cut type copper that you see on old lamp posts in old town and uh, we have them in our hometown in Harrisburg Pennsylvania um, all over the place and uh, I, I kind of want to recreate that and I found an easy way to do it um, and this this method that I found is actually Doug Fiscali's method that I found on his blog post which is found on uh, you can find a link for that blog on uh, FOS scale models or FOSScaleModels.com and uh, look up the drop down menu find a link and you can go to his blog post and he tells you how to do a cornice on the top of a, of a building in um, to make it look like copper we're going to take some of that same method that he has come up with which is great and we're going to apply it to these lampposts so uh come join me i'm going to check uh, show you how to do this, this technique so what i did is these are your titchy lampposts and they come with just about every type of um they come with just about every type uh of kit i've got them with just about every manufacturer now this is a whole bunch of extras i had ordered um <clears throat> but what we're going to try and do and if we can zoom in on this little lamp post on the street sorry I have a man down man down um, this little street uh, lamp post is painted copper so if we zoom in as close as we can and you'll be able to see the effect that it gives and it doesn't look like your normal always black lamp post um, the, the technique is very very simple and I'm going to show it to you now so what we need to do is you take your lamp post and it's three parts mainly. It is this black lid, okay, for the top of your globe, your globe, which is this clear plastic. And then you have your lamp post itself. And we cut them out of the sprues and we get, you know, and we sand off the, the little edges, make sure it's all cleaned up. And on the top of this um, globe, well, the, actually the globe, the bottom of it, it fits into the post on the lamp post. There's a little peg. Um, it, they don't always fit real tight, and I've had this problem a lot. So I take a 1 16th inch drill, and I kind of just kind of it's a um, 1 16th drill bit, and I put it into my pin vise, and I drill out and make it just a bit wider, a little bit deeper, without going too far, and then it gets a nice flush fit. Um, I use a glue, a CA glue, and just kind of drop on, stick it on, put a drop on the top, and the top fits right on the, right onto it. It works out great, and um, we can, uh, we'll have a lamp post that'll look like this. Okay, this this lamp post is uh, is is painted. Um, a copper tone which is not really copper it's brass and how we did that uh, it's already black you can spray paint them, spray paint them black as well um, but this uh, painting it copper the way I'm gonna do it it won't really be necessary um, I the copper comes from something as simple as a sharpie bronze metallic pen and I just take it and it's always best to do it before you assemble but just take it and run it over and you can see how easy everything's turning into a copper look. Um, this would be like brand new copper, obviously metallic. Um, but we're giving it that shade until it's all done. It takes a couple seconds. There's not much to it. And we want to get our top a little bit. And then the bottom part is permanent marker. So in a moment or two, it'll all be done. It's, it's it'll look fine, um, and we get the whole lamp looking copper. The black underneath is nice because it kind of darkens the copper up a little bit from underneath. Uh, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Okay, so I have it where I want it like that. I'll put it down, and then. The next step is to paint it. Okay, so the next step, 
I already have one done, by the way. It's already on this um, uh, tweezers that I have here. And I use a paint called uh, Pistachio Mint. It is by Americana. And you can get it at a craft store for anywhere from a buck and a quarter, a buck to a buck and a half, somewhere in that price range. Okay, I don't need much. I just need a couple drops. And we're going to dry brush this onto the lamp post. Now you gotta be really careful once I get it to come out. And we wanna be really careful when we do this. I'm taking an old beat up brush that I have, paper towel. And I take my pistachio mint on my on my brush and I try I put some on my brush and I take as much as I can out onto the paper towel and then I simply brush it on and not overly hard okay not I don't want to make it too thick just gonna let's move it all over the place here hold on and just want to uh, take the paint out and brush it on. You want to just brush it on so it's streaky and it may, it shows the copper showing from underneath the copper and the black a little bit. It gives it that dark, you know, that patina that it gets you know, from copper. As copper ages and it turns, uh, it oxidizes or whatever it does, it turns this you know, funky shade of pistachio green. Um, and you'll get a really neat effect to your lamp posts and other, you know, metal objects that are, that might've been made in copper back in the early turn of the 20th century, uh, turn into the 20th century and, uh, where it was used a lot. And you want to get your, here you want to be real careful because you don't want to get it on your globe and we just kind of want to brush it on around the, the bases. Okay, you just want to be careful. And on the top, on the top, we'll just kind of lightly dab at it. Like I said, we don't have much, we don't have a lot of paint. We're not adding a ton of paint. And then along these edges, just kind of brush it on without getting it on the globe again. And you now, when it's done like this, I can go through and I can you know, figure out where I want to add a little extra. I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to try and make sure it doesn't look like it's just, uh, you, want the, you want some of the copper to show through. But you also want to have that, it's got to be bold enough that it stands out in the street corner. And then presto, you're done. I mean, it's that, it's that easy. I mean, it has, if you can zoom in real close, uh, you can see the patina inside here. It do, you don't have a lot of brush strokes um, showing, but you do see copper underneath. And uh, you got a nice street light that's ready to be put on a sidewalk. It's that simple. And then we'll go down on, on here. I plan to put several of them up and down the street like three up each side three up one side two down the other side whatever um you can figure that all out depending on what works for you but um there is an easy old style copper patina uh, light post that's it i hope that helps you out i mean uh it's a very easy process it only takes a couple minutes to make it happen and try it try it out if you like thank you